President Trump's lead outside attorney, Rudy Giuliani, is making a startling admission that he plans to turn to Ukraine's incoming president in an effort to dig up dirt not just on the special counsel's investigation into Russian meddling, but also on Joe Biden's son's hunter's ties to the Eastern European country. Giuliani first confirmed his plans to the New York Times, saying somebody could say it's improper and this isn't foreign policy. I'm asking them to do an investigation that they're doing already and that other people are telling them to stop. He also told CNN, quote, I don't want any favors. I just want this investigated. Top Democrats are crying foul. We've come to a very sorry state when it's considered OK for an American politician, never mind an attorney for the president, to go and seek foreign intervention in American politics. Democrats say Giuliani's plans sound eerily similar to the president's infamous call on Russia to meddle in the 2016 election. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. We've had enough of that. And Julie, uh, Rudy Giuliani should just back off. Giuliani's trip to Ukraine comes as former FBI director James Comey is blasting the president, saying in CNN's town hall he agreed with hundreds of former federal prosecutors who said Mr. Trump could be charged with obstruction of justice if he weren't in office. Yeah, I agree. No doubt. No doubt. Uh, it, Again, there's 10 different episodes. I actually think the ones that would be most likely charged are not necessarily the ones that involved me, but particularly this McGahn episode. Comey added that Russia could still have compromising information on the president. I don't know the answer to that. You think it's possible? Yes. He also slammed Attorney General William Barr. You think he's behaving uh, less than honorably? I do. Yeah, and, and look, I'm sorry to... <laughs> and former Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein for their handling of the Mueller report. So Rod Rosenstein, you're saying, is a person not of a strong character? Yeah, I don't think he is. Of accomplishment, very bright, but he's not strong enough. Part of a pattern, Comey told CNN, of the president eating his subordinate souls one bite at a time. Far more often it shapes and bends and pulls in weaker souls, and he does it. I've seen him. It's happened to me. The man lies constantly. Away from the Mueller probe, the president is escalating his trade war with China, raising tariffs on $200 billion worth of the economic giant's products coming into the U.S. and tweeting, build your products in the United States and there are no tariffs. Even some Republicans are questioning what Mr. Trump is doing. But the way you deal with that is not using a tit-for-tat tariff war, because ultimately a tariff, we should think of a tariff like a sales tax. The president's critics say he's a trade hypocrite, as Mr. Trump has manufactured his own products in China in the past. Ties. The ties are made in where? China? China. Ties are made in China. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, and, and you know what, David, in all fairness, I've been very open about that, and not all of them, by the way, but I've been very open about that.